I guess all of your memes belong to OpenAI. I'm kind of kidding. Um, if you if you read the title, you probably know. And believe it or not, not everybody is super stoked on the collaboration. Greg on X sends his condolences, and some folks are well bracing for the smug replies. That's correct. OpenAI and Reddit are going to be advertising partners and much more. And the collaboration has already made quite the splash and general impact. In fact, this partnership with Reddit and OpenAI has sent Reddit shares jumping an impressive 11% in late trading. So aside from the bump in stock, we've got to be asking ourselves, right? What does this AI startup that is as large as OpenAI plan for this new data source? Well, if you stick around to the end, I'll let you know exactly what Sam Altman has invested in Reddit. And it's not just the open AI collaboration, it's actually a lot more. But back to the collab. So what does this mean in the interim? Well, you have to imagine this. The AI startup as colossal as open AI, it now has a new data playground. Reddit may be a social media platform and forum, but it does have a load of diverse content from every industry ever. To be honest, a lot of folks just Google their query and add Reddit next to it to get down to the actual truth. And I understand. Now, oh, before we get too far, my name is V. Dries, and if you like this channel so far, or if you like the vibes, go ahead and follow along for more. Back to the OpenAI and Reddit collaboration, because there's a lot of new features that I want to share with you. OpenAI promises to bring a host of new features. I'm talking a lot of new possibilities with AI and Reddit. Probably the most straightforward is it's bringing GPT capabilities to Reddit, right? It's going to integrate some of those AI features. I'm talking about introducing AI-powered features to Reddit that will actually help you discover content. It'll help you find new communities and engage with them. And probably the most exciting or interesting to me could be the possibility of additional AI-powered mods. That's right, AI-powered moderation embedded inside of Reddit. We already have a little bit of taste of this, but imagine the capabilities that are being built on by OpenAI and all of their systems and features. Remember, OpenAI is one of the most robust companies specializing in AI technology. Especially as we begin to integrate it into consumer technology, they truly are on the front line of this. So, new content, new connections, new corners of the internet to explore. It's great, but of course, is there a catch? OpenAI will get access to Reddit's data API, data mine essentially filled with real-time structure and very unique content from Reddit. Their aim is quite simple. It's to keep you interested, right? Keep things relevant for you. It's keep you on the app. They want your eyeballs and they want your clicks and they want your thoughts. So OpenAI is getting access to Reddit's API and all of the data, right? They're bringing new features to Reddit. And Reddit says it's going to build on OpenAI's features too. Remember at the top when I said OpenAI owns your memes? Well, it's kind of true. Your media, your copy, your thoughts, and your communities are going to help influence open AI. That's right, ChatGPT will have your memes, will have your copy, and will have your thoughts. This is all to some degree though. All we have is the blog post and a few articles that have come out on the deal. So we can speculate and we can look at what they've said so far. And what they've said so far is OpenAI is gonna continue to meet with media publishers. They're gonna meet with them, they're gonna collaborate with them, share insights and a lot of data. Just recently, OpenAI has gotten contact with some pretty big names in the publisher and media space. These are names like Financial Times, Times Associated Press, Germany's Axel Springer, Fanes, excuse me if I mispronounce this one, Risa Media, is that right? All of this data from Reddit, all of the data from all of these new collaborations are going to help influence the code, the source, the text, the images, everything that we create on OpenAI. But would it shock you if I told you that not all publishers and not all social media sites are going to be on board with this idea? Because like I said, in past videos, it does seem like OpenAI is sort of getting their hands in just about everything. Um, and they could be gearing up for this sort of monopoly takeover. You can look at the New York Times and other publishers uh, just to take a look at what I'm saying here. The New York Times has actually sued OpenAI and Microsoft for copyright material. That's right. They're saying that Microsoft and OpenAI together has committed copyright infringement. And even in the face of that, OpenAI has remained defiant of all charges. Now, let's talk Sam Altman because, well, there's a lot going on in OpenAI. Now, if you made it this far into the video, you might be wondering what Sam Altman actually has invested. And it's not just his time and resources from OpenAI. If you don't know, the CEO of OpenAI is actually a major player in Reddit. He's a former board member and a current shareholder. And after the bump, apparently his stake value is now at $750 million. So an 11% bump 
$750 million vested, Reddit is now OpenAI's data source, Roaring Kitties back. Seems like there's a lot of interested parties, or should I say invested parties? Well, there you have it. I don't I don't have much else to say about it, except that's the info. I hope it piqued your curiosity. And as always, I'm going to put the links below in the description on YouTube. So if you are interested in these stories and want to do a little bit of a deep dive rabbit hole yourself, but until next time, stay curious and keep learning Wait, before you leave, especially if you made it this far. Oh my God. If you made it to the end of the video, I have something to say. Thank you guys. We hit 800 subscribers. I mean, that honestly, it just means the world to me. And I've been flooded with all of these nice comments and thank you. Honestly, it just means a lot. And uh, I'm going to go get a haircut now and drink some coffee and edit this video. So thank you. Thank you all.